Of us, myself included, carry chapstick with us everywhere we go. We have secret stashes in the car, in our book bags, and of course, next to us on our nightstands. So does this mean that we are addicted to chapstick? Mm. Chapstick is actually a brand name, much like Kleenex is for tissues. Chapstick is technically a lip balm, which is made to add moisture to your lips and prevent chapping. Because, well, no one likes chapping. Your lips, unlike the rest of your body, do not have sebaceous glands, also known as sweat glands. So instead of oiling themselves, they have a different mechanism. When the top layer of your lips' skin is dry, it signals the bottom layer to make more skin cells. As the new layers grow, they eventually push the top dry, dead skin cells right off your body. Lip balms work by fighting this evil dryness because they contain emollients, which hydrate and soften the skin, making up for the lack of sweat glands. One of the most common emollients is Petrobalm, a synthetic mixture approved by the USDA for cosmetic use. Other more natural lip balms use natural emollients like beeswax, cocoa butter, and almond oil. And while it might be a popular belief that lip balm is addictive, that idea is chemically untrue. Lip balm has no chemically addictive ingredients like nicotine in cigarettes. However, because a lot of us use lip balm so habitually, it may feel like an addiction. But before we close that door on the lip balm addiction case, there's more to this story. Some lip balms contain ingredients known to dry out and irritate your lips, giving you the urge to apply more and more. So if you don't want to perpetually apply lip balm and have secret stashes everywhere you inhabit, Arr. stay away from lip balms with any ingredient ending in an O-L, as these indicate the drying agent alcohol, like camphor, phenol, or menthol. So what's the best course of action during the dry and cold months, like winter in Ohio, or dry sunny months, like every month in California? Well, the number one rule is don't lick your lips. I know it feels like it's like virtually impossible, but the saliva is only providing temporary relief and actually removes any of the moisture already present on your lips. Other good tips to keep those smoochers intact is to add a humidifier to your room and buy a lip balm with SPF to protect against the sun's evil UV rays. Do you use lip balm, also known as chapstick, all day long? Do you have secret stashes strategically placed so your daily routine includes plenty of chapsticking? Let me know how you lip balm in the comment section below.